In this video, I will show you how to create manga in Midjourney. So let's jump straight into it. So in order to do this, the best way to go ahead and do this is what you want to do is open up a new internet browser. So once you've done that, you come across to google.com or whichever search engine that you use and go ahead and type manga and then you want to click onto images. So from here, you want to go ahead and select an image that is in a PNG format. So you just want to look through this and choose one that you like the look of. So let's take this one for example. So what you want to do next is go ahead, right click, click on save image as, make sure this is a PNG or JPEG file and then go ahead and click save. So now you've got your image, what you can do is come back to Discord to Midjourney and what you want to do is put the following prompt into the server, which is a forward slash and then describe and as you can see, it's going to come up with a box like this where you can actually upload your image. So what you want to do is click onto this and upload the image you downloaded. And here we are. So what you want to do now is press enter to send this across. And as you can see, what's going to happen is going to return our image and it's going to give us some good prompt descriptions. So you can see we've got four different ones to choose from. So you just want to choose the one that you like the look of. So for this example, I'm just going to go for number two. So I'm just going to click two at the bottom. And what it's going to basically do is come up with a window like this. And you can see our prompt has automatically been filled in for us. And all you want to do is go ahead and press submit. So it's now just going to take a minute or two to go through and start generating our image. As you can see down here, it says waiting to start. So it just takes a minute or two to do this. And as you can see, it has now generated our images. So it's created manga first based on our original image and the prompts created by Midjourney. So that's the best way on how to create manga in Midjourney. With that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial and I will see you in the next video.